Welcome to the program. In the news, on January 25th, Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell formed the Oriental Telephone Company. On March 12th, Andrew Watson makes his Scotland debut as the world's first black association football player. On July 2nd, United States President James A. Garfield is shot by lawyer Charles J. Gertrude in Washington, D.C. The wound becomes infected, killing President Garfield on September 19th. And now, on to the sports of the day. In American college football, the Yale Bulldogs win the national championship. In association football, in England, at the FA Cup Final, Old Carthusians defeat the Old Estonians 3-0 at the Oval in the last final to be played between two Southern amateur sides. In Ireland, Moyola Park Football Club wins the inaugural Irish Cup Final. In the Scottish Cup Final, Queen's Park defeat Dumberton at Hampton Park 3-1 in a replay after Dumberton protested about the original match which Queens Park won 2-1. In baseball, the Chicago White Sockings become the National League champions. In golf, Bob Ferguson wins the British Open. In horse racing, in Australia, Zulu wins the Melbourne Cup. In Canada, Vice Chancellor wins the Queens Plate. In England, the 1,000 guinea stakes is won by Thebius. The 2,000 guinea stake is won by Peregrine. Iroquois wins the Derby, Woodbrook wins the Grand National, the Oaks is won by Thebius, and Iroquois also won St. Ledger Stakes. In the United States, the Belmont Stakes is won by Santerer, Hindu won the Kentucky Derby, and the Preakness Stakes is won by Santerer. In tennis, at the Wimbledon's Men's Singles Championship, William Renshaw defeated John Hartley 6-0, 6-1, and then 6-1. That completes the program. Please subscribe and comment if you'd like. Until next time, goodbye.